Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be doing an analysis of the second Awakening trailer that was just dropped yesterday by Kakao. But before we start the analysis of the trailer, I have to take a few moments to roast Kakao for uploading this trailer. This is one of the most embarrassing and disgraceful things I have ever seen from any video game company. How can you possibly allow this to happen? How can you green like this? How can you upload a video in this state of your fucking video game? This is the game that you are creating. That is your love, your passion that you care about, that you want to be successful. How can you upload a trailer to your official YouTube channel in this state, in this fucking state? Are you kidding me? Look at the frame rate. Look at the fucking frame rate, dude. This is like 13 fucking FPS. You couldn't do 30, bitch. They did fucking 13 FPS on this fucking trailer. Are you fucking kidding me? And people are sharing this trailer. People are uh, uploading this trailer, myself included, but people are uploading this trailer, advertising your fucking game, and people are in the comments like, what the fuck is this shit? This is a fucking joke. You should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. Anyone who, everyone who fucking allowed this to happen at Pearl Abyss, Cacao, Whoever the fuck greenlit this, fire them now. They should be ashamed. They fucking pressed upload on this bitch. They watched it and it's still up on their fucking channel right now. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. You guys can't do shit right. You can't even do a fucking trailer right. Are you fucking kidding me? You can't do a trailer right. The shittiest games in the world can do a fucking trailer right. Are you fucking insane? Wow. All right. And we're done with that. So let's go into this analysis. Now, <laughs> a lot of people are saying, whoa, holy shit, man. Um, <laughs> this doesn't look like a second awakening. Uh, yeah, this is the second awakening. This is exactly what they said it was going to be. Everyone's thinking that you're going to have a new main hand weapon and your new main hand weapon is going to be flashy doing new animations and all. No, that was never what the second awakening was meant to be. The second awakening was always meant to be a combination of two skills to make one stronger skill. That is exactly, exactly what what they said it was going to be and that is exactly what we got so let's go through here and check out each uh pre-awakening and what the differences are and we're going to start with the one they started with which is warrior now i have the most to talk about when it comes to warrior because i play warrior a lot and i know everything about warrior so i can tell uh you the most about what this is going to entail and i have some theories that are involved so basically for warriors here, we have one skill on the left and one skill on the right. The skill on the left is an ability that does decent amount of damage um, earlier on, but you don't really use it for the damage potential. And the pre-awakening, you actually use it for the CC because it does a down smash and uh, knocks the opponent further away from you, which is good for combos. And then on the right is ground roar, which is what you see most warriors use to mob up the monsters. But for pve only but it also gives a negative 10 melee dp buff so a lot of warriors have always wondered if there was a way to incorporate this debuff into their um combos with their awakening and this may be the answer if you fuse them together and it becomes a negative 10 melee dp buff and also gives that down smash and the damage is increased a lot this skill could become a staple in warrior kits so that's the first skill that they showed and they showed another ability where the warrior throws a spear and then dashes to the enemy which is a fusion of a warrior throwing spear and also the same skill from last time the combo oriented down smash ability now the thing i that that clearly they're trying to showcase here is that um you you're gonna have to choose so basically one of those abilities both of them are using both of these new abilities for warriors are using one ability and, and a different ability to fuse it with so you're gonna have to choose which ability you want to fuse with which ability you can't do both i'm assuming because um there's only you can't obviously you can't use both at the same time i'm thinking so i think it's going to be just one fusion you can do per per character and i believe that there are going to be more of these fusions unlocked throughout the throughout time and i think that that's what they should be called really ability fusions i think that's a pretty good name for it rather than second awakening but that's what they decided to call it so i have to go by that for now but i think f uh, skill fusions is a much better name uh much more and you know it explains much better what everything is so let's go to the next class and the next class is a source sorceress and uh like i said i can't really talk as much about these other classes as i can warrior but sorceress looks 
uh, pretty much the same as Warrior. She can fuse one ability with another ability for an added effect. Now, I've never played Sork, so I can't really speak on whether this is going to be good or not. I Also, I've never played Berserker, but um, I know the ability on the right is the one they use to heal. And the one on the using on the left is the spin. So using the spin and healing at the same time, that's pretty interesting. Um, also, the spin again and a headbutt. So it including it's in, it's having he's having a dashing headbutt. So more mobility CC. Um, the one on the left is a stun for Ranger. The one on the right is a knockdown. So you can use the stun and a knockdown together. Uh, okay. I really don't see the point. Maybe that's a little better. Maybe it does more damage. That's the big thing. Maybe these abilities do more damage. Okay, Tamers. I'm not sure anything about Tamers. Don't know too much. So I can't really speak on this, but um, I'm hoping that this has a lot about damage more so rather than the CC capabilities because these a lot of these abilities really look lackluster from what I can tell. Valkyrie's heal while doing damage is pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but also, she has a, a stronger knockdown, it seems. Uh, okay, so Musa's I know a little bit more about. That says Man Absorption and Dragon Bite. So he can do the stun and Man Absorption at the same time. That's pretty good. That makes Man Absorption actually something he can fight with. He can use the Tornado and Man Absorption at the same time. So when he uses the Tornado, he gets mana back. Same thing for Mewa. It's pretty much the exact same thing. They both have the same shit. So that's pretty good for them. R mana recovery while fighting is uh, never a bad thing. And uh, they changed her blooming to that. Her, she used to have a four block, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, so this is the one that's very interesting, which in Wizards is they heal while using uh, Protective Area, which is crazy. Uh, uh, sorry, they heal while using uh, yeah Protective Area, and then they also use that electricity while using Protective Area. So I'm not sure if that's an Instacast 100% heal or if it's an Instacast 30% heal, but it may just be an Instacast 100% heal, which is freaking huge for Wizards. Uh, I'm, I, I can't understand why they would ever want to buff Wizards and Witches healings, but it looks like that's what they did if it's a 100%, which is crazy. It may be 50%. We'll have to wait and see. Um, okay, no idea what this is or the effectiveness of it. The ability to be able to dash while invisible. Uh, don't get why ninjas and kunoichis would care about that. Um, unless the damage is increased dramatically here, I just don't see the utility at all. Uh, I don't see the use of it. I, it just seems like something kind of stupid. But if the damage is increased, then sure, fine. It, it could be amazing. We'll have to wait and see about that. Um, I think that ability is, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. And then Dark Knight. Luckily, I played Dark Knight a little bit. So that ranged ability also does a stun. That's freaking pretty good for a Dark Knight. And the knockdown so kind of fused together to do a stronger damage and knockdown. That's my that's my calculation for Dark Knight. And then we have Striker. Now Strikers is the another example of why this trailer is fucking terrible. First of all, they just show two skills and this is a different fucking skill. So that just shows you that this trailer is just half assed and they just really didn't give a fuck about it. Okay, so this one is the one they actually show where he actually gets to use one of his dashes with another dash. Once again, this is a piece of shit trailer. I try my best to analyze, analysis this garbage, and I hope you guys understand that. Yes, this is what the Second Awakening is meant to be. It was never meant to be this big, flashy, new third weapon. It was only supposed to be this small thing that is going to be up grade it later and later on i'm sure they're going to be adding more skills that can be fused together later down the line i doubt they're just going to have two abilities they wouldn't have gone through this whole process just for that so i'm sure there's going to be more more combinations and things like that it's a very interesting concept i hope that they balance it some kind of way but this if this trailer is any indication of the competence of pearl abyss or cacao whoever's in charge of this game <laughs> man 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 uh well i just want to say thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video hit me with a subscription i'm gonna keep updates on this this new thing i'm expecting it to come out um tomorrow or maybe next week but mystic is coming out tomorrow so it'd be kind of weird if it came out tomorrow but it's also weird that they released this trailer like this in this form as if they were in a rush i really don't i really don't understand i'm like my brain is hurting right now Oh my god, my brain is hurting. How could they do this? Man, dude, man. Yeah, hit me with that subscription, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh really do appreciate you guys for watching. And yeah, it's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peep, 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 peace.